Welcome everyone to our panel discussion on reducing food and labor costs, sensors as a solution. My name is Christopher and I'll be moderating our discussion today. Um, in a moment, we'll meet with our panelists, but first I'd like to begin with a story. Not too long ago, an area supervisor I know from one of the top three QSR chains named Jay found himself dealing with a problem that everybody hates, a broken freezer. Now, to make matters worse, by the time Jay found out about this problem, all the food in the unit had spoiled. Most of you probably know that over a 24-hour period, a broken freezer will typically warm to about 20 degrees. However, when Jay learned about the malfunction, he was horrified to discover that the temperature was already over 40 degrees. Doing a little bit of napkin math, he realized the freezer must have been malfunctioning for nearly two days before anybody noticed the problem. Now, Jay scrambled, he put in an emergency order to replace the spoiled food, and he was able to get that taken care of, but the parts he needed to fix the freezer weren't gonna be available for several days. So Jay had to rent a freezer truck and park it next to his restaurant to move inventory back and forth while they waited to get the freezer fixed. Bewildered that it took so long to discover this problem, Jay audited the food safety checklist for this location and he discovered that five people had recorded that the freezer was below zero during that two-day period. They had pencil whipped their lists, and between the food, the truck, and the extra labor, the cost for this mistake was over $5,000. Now, problems of team accountability and food safety are, are not unique, and today I'll be talking with a panel from Jolt that will share a solution for these problems. During our discussion, Feel free to post any questions you have using the Q&A tab in Zoom. We'll be sure to answer those during a question and answer segment at the very end. Right now, let's meet our panelists. Uh, to introduce myself a little bit better, my name is Christopher, and I've been involved with employee and customer training for about 18 years. I have an extensive background in hardware and software sales, but I actually got my start in the restaurant business. I supported myself actually waiting tables in both high school and college. With me today is an enterprise account executive from Jolt, Spencer Mortensen. Spencer, why don't you take a moment to introduce yourself to our audience? Thanks, Christopher. My name is Spencer Mortensen. I currently oversee the relationship between Chick-fil-A and Jolt Software. I'm a corporate entity. Uh, what I primarily focus on here at Jolt is just what benefits and return on investment that I can bring back to the operators inside of this fantastic brand. I've been involved with Joe for a few years now. Uh, also, as well as Christopher back in my college days, I got my first taste of a QSR business working in a subway for a few years. I'm glad to be here. Thanks, Christopher. Thanks, Spencer. With me as well is Jeff Verbeck. He's one of the enterprise customer success managers at Jolt. Jeff, why don't you tell us more about yourself? Sure. Thanks, Chris. Uh, my name is Jeff. Um, I've actually been in the food industry slash retail world for about 26 years now. Uh, three of that with Jolt and 23 of that actually with the Kroger company in the Northwest in the Fred Meyer division. Um, held many different uh, leadership positions within the location at corporate level. Worked a lot when it came to food safety um, and decided to bring my expertise to, to Jolt and really kind of just to dive in to see what we can do to help you guys or your folks even improve your solutions even more. So I'm super happy to be here and, and looking forward to working uh, with you and all the Chick-fil-A brand. And last but not least, we have Johnny Ott. He's also an enterprise customer success manager with Jolt. Johnny, please introduce yourself. Thanks, Chris. Happy to be here. Um, like Chris mentioned, my name is Johnny Ott. Uh, I'm originally from San Francisco Bay Area. I've been in the software industry for over five years now. Um, been with Jolt for a couple of years um, and been, been mainly working with Chick-fil-A and, and Chick-fil-A stores and operators. Uh, for most of that time. So uh, it's been great and been blessed to work with all of the operators that I've been involved with and uh, such a great experience to work with such a great brand. And I've worked with about uh, seven, 670 Chick-fil-A locations. So uh, I've learned a lot from, from your practices and learning best practices there. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Spencer and Jeff for spending some time with me today. Um, also, thank you to our audience for joining us for this discussion. Again, another reminder as we go through, feel free to post any questions that you have using the Q&A tab in Zoom, and we'll be sure to get to those at the end of the presentation during question and answer. Uh, my first question today is for Jeff. 
Jeff, could what my friend Jay have lived through been prevented by the new Jolt remote temperature sensor solution? Uh, Chris, absolutely 100%. Um, it could definitely save Jay a significant amount of money, as you saw from that slide, and prevented that. Um, we hear George, Jay's story quite a bit. Um, I even had a Chick-fil-A that I talked to just a little bit ago that was kind of kicking his feet and not really sure if he wanted to use our solution. He, hasn't, he didn't have anything in place at the time. Took about a couple weeks off and on of bantering back and forth and talking, and then he called me about a week later and was like, okay, you win. I'm going with your solution because I had a circuit breaker that went out. Um, I didn't have any clue for almost four hours that my uh, freezer was going down. And so that helped him get ahead of that financial loss as well to make sure that didn't happen. That, and that would have prevented uh, Jay's uh, situation as well. Um, as you mentioned, p employees pencil whipping it and, and those temp logs, and it definitely takes away that human error and to be able to have that all monitored. And not to mention, you know, you guys are able, you folks are able to serve customers or not able to serve customers with an inventory shortage. If all of a sudden you have a freezer that goes out and you wipe out all that inventory, now you're out of business for that day or for two days, however long it takes to get that, inf that inventory back in. Or even worse, you're serving at-risk food uh, to your customers as well. So it definitely would have been a game changer if Jay would have had that already. Spencer, same question to you. How, how could you have prevented what, what happened to Jay? Yeah, absolutely. Just kind of sum it up, uh, you know, some of Jeff's thoughts that he shared with us is, you know, Jay's loss could have been prevented. Um, you know, inventory loss is a real big hit to the bottom line, you know, around obviously, you know, embarrassment and potential customer loss that could come from not having the right product at the right time. You wanted to be able to serve the customer. We've also heard from many other operators that, you know, daily labor costs uh, to complete some of these temperature checks is significant. You know, when it comes to having the Jolt sensor solution in place, we can not only protect that high value inventory, but also just help reduce the overall labor costs by automating some of those temperature checks. So what you're finding is your customers aren't just saving money by avoiding, you know, inventory loss during a meltdown. You're actually able to save them money as, as far as time and labor as well. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Johnny, next question is for you. I, I know that Jolt has been in the remote temperature sensing business for many years. What's new and different with your current solution? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we've been monitoring our Bluetooth uh, solution for a while. We've, we've been offering it for several years. Um, and we've learned from both from the customer and feedback and from monitoring um, the Bluetooth system, a lot of things that uh, can be really fixed and, and changed and uh, to really secure uh, that connection. And so as you can see here on this graph, the, the LoRa sensors, the new sensors that we provide, which is a low range sensor, can actually uh, extend that range so much further than the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi solutions that we used to have or that we, that we originally started with. And with that comes with a more stronger signal uh, since these LoRa sensors are connected with the gateway that is through Ethernet instead of over Wi-Fi. So um, definitely can reach uh, those sensors from over a few miles uh, with that signal, which is awesome. Um, along with that is, you know, with customer feedback that we received from our, our Bluetooth sensors, uh, we've been able to really enhance the features within these new sensors. There's new technology to make it a lot better. And there's also with that new technology comes the ability to uh, get accurate readings and actually know the temperature of the product that is being held within your walk-ins and coolers. Most of the time with like a Bluetooth sensor type or a general sensor, you're taking the ambient temperature that's being recorded um, with those with those sensors in the walk-in and that can fluctuate quite a bit throughout the day with people walking in and out and uh, that door accidentally being left open and um, but that may not necessarily be the accurate reading that you may need to get or the alert false alert that you could get that you could get if uh, you knew exactly what the product temperature was at and so we have sensors and new technology to simulate the actual temperature of the product that is being held within the walk-in, uh, which will give you a much more accurate reading than the ambient temperature. So you're not alerted at midnight or something of a false alert, but you can actually be, uh, you can actually have a more reliable 
uh, reading when you're looking at those alerts and sensors. And along with that is just better connectivity since it's not run through a, a Wi-Fi connection or Bluetooth. It's, it's hardwired through Ethernet um, and it's really easy to set up, less complexity and having that longer range and also allows for uh, a better view and overview at an enterprise level of seeing how um, all of your your coolers and walk-ins are being monitored um, going forward. So really the, the two biggest takeaways that, that, that I get from that is that you now have this technology that's using a, a LoRa signal over Bluetooth and that's providing a stronger and more reliable signal, particularly in, in kitchen environments where there are a lot of obstructions. That's correct, Chris. Yeah, and and you know, like you mentioned, you know, restaurant environment. There, you know, the, the way everything is laid out uh, organizationally, it, it could be hard for that Bluetooth to travel. And so, with these new sensors, you have you know, it's higher reliability, which means less communication issues. Um, for some, it's moving from a manual process, like what Jeff mentioned earlier, you know, with paper and pencil to a more automated process where you don't have to think about it as much and just be alerted when you need to know when something is going wrong and actually have an accurate reading of that. Um, and also, you know, with, with today's age and everything with going on with coronavirus and COVID-19, um, there's an increase uh, push on food safety and, and making sure everything is sanitary. And this can help prove with those auditors um, and your either with Stereotech or any type of inspection to make sure that everything is safe um, and that your product is safe to serve with your customers. Um, along with that, you know, you have the ability to provide, you know, corrective actions with uh, those sensor alerts that come up and being able to act quickly and know exactly what you need to do by setting up a corrective action um, and just making it easier to configure and deploy and having that better visibility. Got it. Now, I understand that this hits a little bit close to home for you guys. Didn't your founder, Josh Bird, once have a, a, a freezer meltdown uh, with, with a restaurant that he actually operated? He did, yeah. So Josh uh, actually used to own a, a Baskin Robbins out here in Utah, and um, New Year's Day he had um, one of his his coolers go out on him, um, and it had about ten thousand dollars worth of inventory, and unfortunately wasn't able to save it because he didn't have uh, any system or sensors to to monitor. Uh, all the ice cream inventory that he had. And, and so that was a big loss that drove him to, to create this solution and platform with Jolt to provide for these options and solutions for, for operators in, in any industry to help make sure that they have precautions in place so that they don't lose that type of money. Um, um, yeah, and we actually have, uh, Speaking of Josh, we actually have an example from one of our Chick-fil-A operators using Jolt, uh, Richard Plank here, and, and he had a similar experience, but oppositely, he was able to actually save his inventory. Um, so he says here, right after we installed Jolt sensors, we found out that we had a problem with one of our doors. The seal wasn't sealing correctly, and to be honest, I don't think we would have noticed uh, we would have noticed we had we not had those sensors in there. So we could have lost $3,000 worth of chicken if we hadn't caught it. So from day one, it made a difference. So uh, great testimonial there to prove that, you know, having something in place to pr have those preventative measures can really help save you time and money in the long run. Well, Jeff, this solution sounds amazing. Could you take a moment and, and walk us through how exactly sensors work? Yeah, definitely. Love to walk you through it. Um, so really the first thing I want to, to kind of make known is the, the simplification aspect, the most important. It is simple, it is reliable, it is consistent, and visibly accountable. And, and with that aspect of it, it really all starts with the Jolt sensor itself. 
it's it's small, it's durable, it's not very big at all. There is no power required. It's all battery operated. The battery life expectancy is about a year, even a little bit longer with, you know, that we have it now reading every 15 minutes. Um, it's really super easy to install. Um, there's a magnet option where you can have it just basically adhere to the side. As you saw in that one picture, there is the carabiner option where you can just clip it onto a shelf. Um, so the installation aspect of the sensor is super, super easy. Um, it improves connectivity compared to Bluetooth. So as you can see from our, our slide here is that you've got the sensors and you've got the gateway. Um, the gateway is connected through ethernet into your router and then the router straight up into the cloud and as it gathers that data and reads all the information it will now send it down to the web portal or to your device uh, either on your cell phone or tablet, iPad, you know whatever you've got. Um, it's all pre-configured. You basically scan it, boom, and go. It's all set up. It's super easy. Um, very precise. I was mentioned ambient air temperature or product simulation like Johnny had mentioned. Um, you can also place those sensors pretty much anywhere, walk-in freezers, walk-in coolers, uh, your thaw cabinet, grab-and-go locations, anywhere that you are monitoring that ambient air or that, that food aspect, the actual food uh, simulation of your inventory. Anywhere you've got all those thousands of dollars that if anything goes down, if you don't catch it, you're going to be, your bottom line is going to get hurt. Um, there is no limit to how many sensors. I've got customers that have three. I just had a customer that just bought some last week, a brand new account that just bought 15 of them. So it really depends on your back of house footprint, but there is no limit to how many that you have. Um, and you can move around within that system. You know, you're not going to interfere with it. You're not going to bother it. You can go in and out, do your thing. Um, let Jolt go ahead and protect you and give you that, that peace of mind to protect one location um, or protect all kinds of storage locations that you have inside your back of house. Um, with that, the installed gateway is really quite simple. Um, it can be in your office or anywhere in the kitchen, you know, anywhere that you can get that Ethernet option to have that hardwired, you're good to go. You only need the one. So that's what's really cool about this is the one gateway is all you need. You can have 30 sensors and that one gateway is going to capture all of that data for you. Um, it, the distance is not an issue. So unlike some of the other sensors we used to have where that 20 to 30 foot range, like, like Johnny had mentioned, Bluetooth can be kind of inaccurate and pretty sketchy. And a lot of back of house interference is going on. There's no range limit when it comes to these. That's why it's mentioned as low res for long range. Um, very reliable technology. <clears throat> And you have kind of flexible, flexible choices to where you can kind of leverage your own existing network, able to work on 3G or 4G network. Um, and so you're basically going to have that peace of mind knowing that everything is completely monitored 100%. Um, and then really from that um, is the reporting aspect. Anytime, anywhere. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's real-time reporting. You're going to have graphs that are going to update on the, back, on the back end in your web portal every 10 minutes. Also on your devices. As you can see on the picture here, we've got the web portal on the back side and then the device, whether it's your cell phone or tablet, is all the device that's facing the front. And this could be your cell phone. So you don't have to be in front of a computer. You could just grab your cell phone, go to the sensors tab, pull it up, and you're going to be able to see all your graphs and all your readings right there in real time. It's 24-7, 365 visibility every day. Um, and then really with that, um, the, the alert aspect, it's, it's very customizable to where you don't have, I mean, this, we'll, we're going to give you a defaulted uh, disconnect alert set up automatically just to give you that peace of mind. And then from there, it's all customizable. You can decide who, what roles are going to get it, what managers, what admins are going to get that text or that email notification from Jolt. Um, you can customize those, those thresholds as well. So if you want to set up one that says, I want to know when my freezer hits 38 degrees for more than an hour. If it does, I want to get notified from Jolt. You can have that happen. It's completely customizable to what you can do. You can even have a battery life. Those batteries, like I mentioned, last about a year, year and a half or so. You can have one set up to where when there's 20% battery life left, it'll remind you to buy it. It'll send you a notification to say this is what you've got left to remind you to buy a new battery before that sensor dies on you and now you actually don't have anything being monitored. So it's very customizable um, and for what you can do with it. So Jeff, just to jump in here, if I can, um, looking at this example that you have of the notification and just what you said, I think, on, on the previous slide about 24-7 service, uh, does this mean that if I'm an owner-operator um, and I have a piece of equipment that goes out after hours, after the, the restaurant is closed or perhaps, you know, like Chick-fil-A on a Sunday when I'm not open, that I can have a notification sent to either me or my managers letting us know about the problem so we can take care of it, again, even if it's in the middle of the night. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You don't have to be on the premise to get that notification, like you mentioned, whether you're closed or it's a holiday, or like you mentioned, Chick-fil-A being closed on Sundays. Absolutely, you can get the notification. A uh, great example is I had a Chick-fil-A that uses our sensors um, a lot, very, very well. 
he had this, situ this situation actually happened to him on a Sunday. He got notified. He lived down the street, decided to go check on it. Sure enough, this, the freezer was going down and was increasing in temperature. And he was able to save almost $10,000 in inventory. <laughs> and on top of that, able to save the labor, as Spencer mentioned, the labor cost of having to move that product, try to save it, try to salvage it. Now you've got all this labor. He's got all these people you have to call in to help. That helped him save all of that. And he was able to catch it before it got too bad. Okay, well... Spencer, Jeff makes this sound like a really easy to deploy solution. Can you perhaps walk us through some more of the benefits that your customers have seen? Yes, definitely. And, and Jeff is correct. This is extremely easy to use and to implement. So I think what's best, actually, let me walk you through a short presentation. And we'll just focus on three key areas that you should expect to benefit from. And that'll be inventory loss, labor savings, and improved food safety. So jumping into where the, we will be able to, excuse me, where we're going to be able to reduce costs, let's start around inventory loss. And one of the significant values to this solution is the real-time visibility that you're going to get. And where that visibility comes from is going to be when those alerts aren't going, when those alerts come out and when the alerts aren't going to plan. So you can't expect employees to be there present 24 seven, seven days a week, 365 a year, right? And then also you have to weigh as an operator, you know, automation versus trust in a manual process. So some of the, the big areas and some of the triggers that the alerts can actually help with to alert you and where you can save is gonna be your inventory, labor cost, brand damage, you know, overall avoiding some embarrassing situations and just be able to help you, your ability to do business. You know, talking about some of the benefits is practically tracking your equipment health. Identify any signs of impeding issues. You know, I mean, look, Murphy's Law, what can happen will happen, right? Things break at the most inconvenient time always. And so with Jolt, you know, be able to help reduce that cost after hours or weekend and on holiday, you know, some of those expensive repair rates. Fix the issue before it becomes a real problem or even if it already is a problem. So Spencer, just to cut in really fast here, if I'm understanding you, your customers aren't just getting notifications when a piece of equipment is broken. It sounds like you actually have customers who are able to detect a problem uh, before it becomes a crisis. Yes, absolutely. Correct. Great question. Next, I, uh, you know, I think would be good. Let's talk about, you know, automating some of that manual process that can save you time and labor costs. You know, just also eliminating some of those errors that happen on the errors that happen on a daily basis from pencil whipping, which can also you know lead to inventory loss. So you know, encompassing Jolt's task management software solution as well as the sensor software solution, you know, some of the things that you're going to be able to avoid is some of those eliminating the human error that comes in. You know, it's easy to make a typo when it's manually imported. It's easy for employees to skip a step. It's easy to be to pencil whip or lose focus elsewhere inside of a busy restaurant, especially a Chick-fil-A. When you're not there, you know, just ask yourself, you know, do you know the truth? Do you actually know what's going on when you're not at, inside your location? The Jolt solution automates and, per, and perfects that manual tasks of making sure your cold sort areas are working as prescribed, as well as the Jolt solution eliminates the need to walk around and log temperatures. As well, you know, it's going to give you an owner that trust as well as good, reliable information. Just some examples that come into, you know, even more cost savings and benefits for you is going to be some operators that we've spoken to, Johnny, Jeff, and myself, have reported half an hour of time savings in just the opening sh uh, shift checklist by automating some of those temperature checks. You know, ask yourself, how many times do you perform temperature checks right now? How often are your employees doing that? Labor obviously is one of the highest costs operators face with right now currently, as well as reducing costs in areas that can help that bottom line. And, you know, some of that cost savings, you know, let's put that in revenue generating tasks and, you know, that makes a lot more sense than just putting it towards more labor. In the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, operators are doing more with less. We want to provide you with a technology that can help you do more with less. So really, you, you've seen that solutions like sensors have been an important way for operators to, to lower costs, even as they've been, been struggling with things like labor during the pandemic. Absolutely, correct. Yep, let's, let's, let, let us take some of the, the stuff off your shoulders right now, 100%. You know, one of the other key aspects too, Christopher, is you know, some of the benefits that come from saving money around the audit costs. 
you know, revisits from some of the third party auditors can be pretty expensive. Bad scores or food audits from the health department can cause a lot of unwanted situations that can create, you know, shutdowns, bad press, staff layoffs. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, we don't want to get to that we can help protect. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, looking what the Jolt solution is going to bring is, you know, the benefits and the peace of mind. Know that the products that you're serving to your customers are safe. Reduce the bad, the bad press that could occur or any food safety issue. I mean, I mean, look, times are tough as they are right now, right? You don't need anything to add on top of that. You know, leverage your processes to send a good, great, good, great consumer main, uh, message to you have, you know, sorry. <laughs> leverage your processes to send a great consumer message that you have protocols and processes in place that make them and your employees safe. Use automation and technology to ensure that your business is running as it should when you're not there. Well, Spencer, one of, one of my takeaways from what you've described is that the, the benefit here isn't just ROI. It's not just dollars and cents. You keep using that phrase, peace of mind. It sounds like a lot of this is just designed uh, to really give owner operators that peace of mind that things are working well, that their inventory is protected, even when they're not there at the store. Correct. Yep. Let's stop any other ripples from getting bigger. Let's protect where we can. Well, Jeff, I know that Jolt has an entire food safety and staff accountability, accountability platform. How does this new sensor solution fit in with that? Yeah, and as most of you are aware, I mean, we have the list, we've got the labels, there's a lot of those other, you know, the temp probes, that kind of stuff. There's other food safety aspects of that. And sensors does come into that. And one of the things that is really great with sensors is this new feature we have, what's called sensors within lists. So beforehand, even if you decided to use like a temperature gauge like that, a list within, within Jolt, if you wanted to, do, want, wanted to know what the back of house coolers and that kind of stuff are reading, you have to take it manually, add it to the list, that kind of stuff. Um, so you're, one of the things that you're able to do now is build these lists around these sensors and then be able to take that list with you on your tablet, on your device, and be able to go down the list on, on the, uh, digitally and pull that actual reading, that last reading from the sensor right to your list onto the next one and be able to get through that much quicker. Again, taking the human error out of it, letting the system work for you and saving you a ton of labor as well. Again, we've mentioned how it's being automated, the human error aspect. And there's also that peace of mind knowing that you're going to be able to sleep at night knowing that your thousands of dollars of inventory are being monitored by Jolt. The other big thing with that, and Johnny mentioned this before, is that corrective action aspect. You can actually create a list ahead of time for that scenario. So when that scenario does happen and that freezer does increase or cooler does increase, a list is going to populate on the device for you to actually be able to work on. And it gives your team maybe a troubleshooting. Maybe it's check the breaker, make sure the door is shut, make sure the inventory is not blocking the airflow. Whatever that might be, you're basically ingraining into your team and training them to what to look for before they come to you and tug at your coattails saying, hey, we've got a problem, we've got to get this fixed. You're, you're allowing them to be able to take that ownership, to have that assistant manager in their hands while you can actually run your operations, run your location, and, and do what you've got to do instead of that minute day-to-day -day stuff. Let Jolt help you take care of that. So really, this is part of a, a much bigger whole. Your sensors have the ability to populate temperatures directly inside of safety lists. And if there is a problem, it's possible for you to provide on-demand training to help trouble, troubleshoot the issue. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I, and basically, once it's all set up and you've got everything how you want, it's done. I mean, the system's going to take care of you. You have that peace of mind. You can go do what you have to do and let Jolt help you. But absolutely. Now, Spencer, we spoke earlier about the new Jolt Protect program and how it impacts the new Jolt Sensor solution. Could you tell our audience more about that? Yeah, absolutely, sure. So it's a three-year extended no-fault program that goes way above and beyond traditional warranties offered by your hardware manufacturer. The food safety service space is without question a harsh environment as is, where accidents happen regularly, surprises can add up fast. So some of the thing that Jolt Protects is gonna include on top of that is accidental damage protection, no cost overnight shipping, protection on your investment and overall peace of mind. Spencer, if, if I'm in a restaurant and I have a, a problem, a sensor goes out on a Saturday night, are you telling me that, that I can get um, a new sensor overnighted to me so I have it ready to go the next day? 100%, yes. And you know what's cool about that too, Christopher, is on top of the Jolt to Protect program, it's not just limited to our sensors. It's offered on more hardware besides that, a program that 
is planned to your cost specifically, what hardware you want to purchase. So if you decide to purchase a Jolt printer as well too, you can get this on it as well. So no fault, no surprises, just trying to bring you that peace of mind like we've discussed. Now you also told me about a great limited time pre-order offer. Um, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, definitely extremely excited you actually brought that up. So for a limited time, we're actually offering a pre-order discount of 50% off the pricing. We had a soft launch for our new sensor program a little bit ago and orders just started coming in extremely fast. So this gets you a great price, gets you in the schedule as well as we wait for our next batch of inventory. And we're just taking these at first come, first serve basis. So the, the bottom line is if, you know, the sooner you act, the, the sooner you can get the solution working at your restaurant. Yes, correct. Well, the solution, Jolt Protect, the pre-order offer, they all sound great. How does somebody actually get started? Yeah, great question. So first and foremost, connect with us via the web or phone, what you're seeing right here. We'll engage in a very consultative discussion with you just to find out what solutions are going to be best for your needs at this time to fit your business. And then just a quick reminder as well, too, we do have financing available through some of our partners like Lendio, if that's a stumbling block for you. But more than anything, I just would encourage the audience today to act fast. This is a limited time offer that is only going to uh, be available till the end of March. So we'd love to see as many people get their hands on these as they can. Thank you, Spencer. And thank you, Johnny and Jeff, for spending time answering my questions today. Uh, that'll end my question portion of this. We're now going to turn some time over for your questions. We're going to go into a, a question and answer segment. Um, Britton, who's been helping me out from the technical side, has been gathering those up. Uh, I'll turn the time over to him. He'll go ahead and read those questions off. And it will be a shark take. Uh, the, the panelists will have a chance to, to chime in and answer those. Feel free to keep posting those in the Q and, using the Q&A button in Zoom as we go through this. And then we're, when we're done with questions, we'll go ahead and wrap up our conversation for the day. Um, to the panelists as well, if I could ask you for a favor, I know we've had our cameras off during our discussion. If you wouldn't mind turning them on, um, let's let the audience see our faces if possible for this part. All right, Britton, take it away. All right, perfect, thank you, Chris. So we've got some, a couple questions coming so far. Uh, let me just start out with the first one. Um, how much time does it generally take to set up the sensor system? I can go ahead and answer that. Um, great question. Uh, so really, I've seen anywhere from a half hour. I think the most I've seen is maybe 45 minutes, and that was a pretty big back of house footprint for a Chick-fil-A. Uh, but this process with the new sensors and the new uh, solution that we have with this, the setup is three times smoother than it used to be. So I would say that half hour to 45 minute mark at most. Perfect. Uh, next question. Do I need to change out previous hardware? So it sounds like they have, uh, if they have previous Jolt hardware, do they need to change that out? And, and how does that work? I can answer that question, Britton. So yeah, um, if you're using, if you were utilizing Bluetooth sensors from before, um, they are not compatible with the LoRa sensors, so you can't mix and match with the two. So if you're wanting to move in this direction of um, this higher quality sensor that's more reliable, you will have to replace the older equipment that you do have if it if it is that Bluetooth equipment. All right, perfect then. Um, if you do have the previous equipment and want to talk about the cost there, uh, feel free to reach out to Spencer or to us at uh, Jolt. And they, uh, they can have a conversation on the costs. Uh, next question. I'm hearing a lot about freezers and refrigerators. Are there any type of sensors available for hot food? I can go ahead and answer that. Um, right now, not yet. Uh, that is definitely something that our product team is aware of. Um, right now, it's pretty much just your walk-in coolers, freezers, thaw cabinets, even, maybe even a cold well. Um, but the, the hot aspect we are aware of, um, but it is not quite at that level yet. Perfect. Uh, the next question is about alerts. Can alerts be directed to multiple locations, such as uh, the vendor as well as the owner? Yeah, great question. I can actually take this one. Yeah, just depending on how you configure your setup inside of Jolt, you can do a role-based permissions and alerts. So yeah, you could do that. You would just have to have them inside your Jolt system, which Johnny and Jeff would be happy to walk through and show you how that's possible to set up. Perfect. 
Um, how many questions has Jolt, or how many locations, sorry, how many locations has Jolt installed with sensors? I can get answer that. I believe right now we have 92 locations that are currently using sensors and growing. We've even had some more just as of today that actually ordered um, some of these lower sensors. So it's it's increasing pretty much day by day right now. Perfect. And just to add to that too, we have about probably over 900 active sensors uh, with those uh, with those 92 locations. Um, what is the time frame between each of the readings on the sensors? I can actually cover that. I know I mentioned that in my uh, when I was talking. Right now, they are every 15 minutes. So one of the reasons why we made it a little bit increased and, and a longer process for it to be that 15 minute range is we found that was kind of the sweet spot. Um, it used to be around nine minutes. But 15 minutes is not only the sweet spot where it's not going to cause like any kind of um, out of range or kind of damage as far as that reading, but it also is helping save the battery life on the sensor as well, where on average it was around 12 months. But with us doing that, the battery life will be a little bit longer now. Awesome. Um, so this person is asking about um, the size of their operations that can benefit from the sensor operation. Sounds like they have a smaller um, location and only would use it for about three fridges. Is that feasible or is it the solution for something that's bigger than that? Yeah, I can take this one. No, absolutely. It would work great. And what's really exciting too is, you know, we have different bundles available for this pre-order option that cover, you know, all the way down to three units, all the way up to 10 plus units. So absolutely. Awesome. Um, if I order before March 31st, when can I expect to receive my sensor kit? Or sorry, February 31st, I read that date wrong. Yeah, great question. And then Christopher, or Jeff, feel free to jump in. Right now what we have is I think we're shooting for the, the first or second week of April is when we, I think we'd be able to get it out to you if you had it ordered before February 31st. Awesome. Okay, so um, here's, we're on to our last question. So if you do have any other questions, um, feel free to type them in now. We'll be able to help you out. What is the range of the temperature sensor to the hub? So I can take that. There, with these lower ones, there really isn't uh, a range really anymore. There, there's no limit how far you can go. Where with the Bluetooth ones, we had to be kind of that sweet spot was that 20 to 30 foot range. But with LoRa, which, which, which is, you know, being that long range aspect, there, there isn't, you can have it as close or as, as far as away as you need to. That's what makes it so uh, amazing with this new product and how powerful it really is. I guess another way to say it is uh, we haven't had a single restaurant that required more than one uh, gateway. Correct. Awesome. One last question just came in. Are most people only putting one sensor into each fridge is there a need or a benefit to putting more than one into each for each fridge i can uh take that question um yeah you can definitely just uh use one sensor per walk-in to monitor the, the temperatures of that and it'll it'll simulate uh, if you're using the product simulator sensor it'll simulate that temperature of the inventory that you have in there so there's really no need to add multiples in one unit and uh, just one per unit awesome is the only long-term maintenance required just changing the battery or will there be further maintenance required in the future No, I can take that one. Yeah, really, it's just it's just the battery. I mean, the one thing you're going to want to be careful of is, you know, kind of where you put that to make sure you don't have any liquid spilling on it, you know, or that kind of stuff. I mean, you still want to kind of protect that aspect. But really, yeah, maintenance wise is like, you know, Ethernet, really plug that in, make sure it's good to go and change that battery out, you know, once in a while when it when you when it reminds you to and you'd be good to go. I just uh, add on to what Jeff said. Interestingly enough, it comes with our pre-order bundle, comes with Jolt Protect, which includes battery replacement. So it's literally, if it stops working, you call, we send you an advanced exchange replacement that has a fully charged battery. That's probably good for another 18 months or longer, and uh, you're good to go. So we, 
try to take some of the confusion out of it and the ease of just replacement. Okay, perfect. Uh, we've had some other questions come in that are kind of specific to your, your location. So I'll have uh, Spencer reach out to you to answer your, your questions. If we didn't answer your question in this chat, um, just so we can be more specific to your specific situation. Other than that, if you do think of a question, feel free to reach out to us. Our phone number and email is on this uh, listed here. We'd be happy to help. All right, thanks to uh, again to our panelists, Jeff, uh, Spencer, and Johnny for joining us today. Thanks to the audience. I hope that this information has been helpful to you. Good luck and have a wonderful day.